kurba on kõndida täna siin koas, kus kunagi olid külad ja meenutada oma lapsepõlve. See ongi ala, kus need külad kunagi olid. We are in the Enefit Power, that's the uh, biggest uh, energy producing company in Estonia. We have here three power stations, as well we have three oil factories here. As well we have two mining places, uh, open mining and closed mining. Uh, we are a small country, there's like 1.3 million people. Uh, when we take this small number of people and we look at the oil shale industry and the greenhouse gas emissions and we divide them, we see that per person, per capita, Estonia's footprint is very, very big. It's bigger than China, it's bigger than most other countries because this oil shale is so inefficient to burn. So when we're talking about the climate impacts, then the oil shale industry is one of the most polluting industries in terms of climate. Oil shale is unique, unique, unique mineral, let's say, in Estonia. Small pieces is here because this is only fossil fuel around the Baltic Sea, actually, and also the north part of the Russia and oil shale. It's not uh, so high caloric value like the coal, but we can produce from this energy and oil. And When you go to Itaviruma, you drive there with a car, first you will definitely see these huge ash mountains. So these are seen from far away, they are many hundred meters high, and these are like the waste products of this oil shale industry. So whenever oil shale is burned, it burns quite inefficiently, and a lot of ash is left over, then, and this is piled to these huge mountains. natural oil shale, but we just mix our own oil shale from the old ash and from the plastic and put it, this material through our equipment and we get oil again. This uh, waste handling equipment and waste handling industry, we need a need lot of testing to improve that this is clean, that we're not polluting and also this uh, ash what we produce, it's, it's clean, we can it recultivate and so on. But we need a lot of test time. It's according to this legislation, actually. It's environmental. Yeah, so here you can see, uh, usually next to these ash mountains are these uh, blue lagoons, as they are called by the locals. Uh, you can compare it to the, to the size of the city and, and you see that uh, they are very much the same size I'll try to. Which is the uh, water that the ash is transported, then this water seeps into these uh, holding pools. And these pools are very alkaline, so you wouldn't want to put your hand or leg into this water because it will burn. And what you see behind me is actually one very small one of these pools. There are many around uh, the city of Narva and it's just a matter of time uh, before something really bad happens with these because they are very uh, toxic and dangerous to humans and nature.
Пока еще нет, как говорится, еще здоровье, но не исключено, что, наверное, в будущем, наверное, скажется, конечно. Но пока не ощущаю. Пока руки, ноги все есть, так же на Но мы уже привыкшие к этому, мы родились в этом городе, мы к этим запахам уже привыкли, то есть мы уже адаптированы. Хотя, конечно, иногда и на раз бывают какие-то вот такие скажем, аварийная ситуация, что неприятно там, но это минутное дело. Страшно, ничего нет. Если было бы плохо, люди бы отсюда уехали. Или, или не работали. Опасность. 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 Ну, не, я не скажу, что это опасная работа, она вредная. То есть э, за счет того, что это химическое предприятие, все-таки как бы пыль и все эти как бы, ну. Как бы на здоровье это не лучшим образом сказывается. Поэтому у нас как бы есть возможность на 5 лет раньше уйти на пенсию. Куда пять скейт? Minun isä Alexander asuu seisimisellä töillä, käy kivieli vai kytteutu karjeri. Ja illille veturi juhina ja pelastaks kemiat kivieli kemiat ja se töille. Ja selle, selle alustasin ka minä oma tööt. Kiveli käymä töistuses ja töötasin seal kuni, kuni ajalõppuni, pensioni ajalõppuni. Kivelis töötades oli üldis, et keskkond oli väga mürgine või käymäjad oli väga palju ja arvatavasti see mõjus ka minu tervisele, mida ma olen nüüd pensioni ajas olen seda tunnetanud, et mulle on tulnud juurde aigus arvatavasti sellest keemiast. Tavaliselt teases töötamise ajal on mul minu endised kolleegid või keemia tööstuse inimesed on samuti põdenud samasugused aigusi, mis on tekitud tavaliselt sellest keemiast. Minu tervis selle on mõjunud tavaliselt see keemia ja arstid tunnistavad, et tavaliselt selle mõju on on tundaltud see keemia, mis on mulle toonud selle müloomi, ulgi müloomi. Vredni staž u mňa už vyrobata. A do pensii mňa ešte, jestli v zákon nepomíňajú, to mňa 5 let ostalosť. No, robotať ja tam после этого уже точно ну, не хочу Это... буду заниматься вот дома ну если может быть другая какая-то работа ну, только не на химии уже как... ну не на этом предприятии то есть ну, хватит 20 если я там 20 лет отработаю на химии это уже много надо немножко оставить себе пожить